Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Elif Albus, and uh, I'm here today with my team, uh, Sam Johnson, Nikita Chuga, Brian Annenberg, and Sinza He. And today, we are going to talk about Oculus Lip Sync SDK, and we'll get you started using a Unity plugin for Lip Sync SDK. So this is going to be a turn into a hands-on session very quickly. Um, all right. Today we will have a 25-minute session. I'll give you a motivation and brief introduction, and we'll talk about new features. And right after that, we'll get you started using the uh, technology. Firstly, why lip sync? Imagine you are playing a game with your friends, an online game, and you are strategizing uh, attacking some aliens in front of you. Your friends sitting next to you, and then you're thinking how to attack the aliens. And then one of your friends starts speaking. You turn your gaze to catch their avatar's face. You look at the avatar. The face is expressionless. The person is speaking, but there is no expression it suddenly becomes confusing and not so natural. We believe if you have face animation from audio, you could make this experience much more immersive, much more engaging. Hence, we started working on this technology. And we believe that this not just applies to games, VR content, it applies to movies and many other uh, multimedia activities. Hence, we started working on lip syncing technology. And we made it work across languages and integrated the very first version to FE Spaces several months ago. This model was trained on PyTorch, translated via Onyx, deployed on Cafe 2 into Spaces to be run with this next generation avatar. This model was PyTorch se trained by PyTorch. It was Onyx. Übersetzt. Cafe 2 was used. It was launched on Spaces to create this avatar. It was a new avatar. We believe that avatar animation from audio can help us connect with each other better and can help us share the content a lot more. So let's talk about um, Lip Sync SDK. So after seeing the interest, we decided we give it to the, our developers so that they can use it. Uh, we released the very first version of Lip Sync SDK, this version of Lip Sync SDK in early August. And it provides a much newer, more robust audio to lip animation technology based on deep learning. At this time, let's do some exercise. Let's start saying like words like pizza or chair. If you look at my mouth, like pizza, chair, you'll see that I'm making different mouth shapes for each different sound unit. The different uh, mouth shapes for each sound unit are called y -zims. and the way to pre represent y zims in a computer animation is blend shapes. So uh, in basically, blend shapes define how your 3D geometry of your avatar is. And if you mix and match different blend shapes or different y zims, you can animate speech continuously and smoothly. So when we were working on this technology, basically, uh, we realized that, OK, this technology is great. But we also need to advance the animation accordingly. So we also changed our avatars uh, to use these blend shapes more effectively. And we even defined a reference YZIM guide for our developers to use. Here you see 15 YZIMs, our technology outputs. So basically, we have um, these poses generated for each of the outputs that we, uh, uh, we provide. And combination of these visims define how the avatar's face is formed. These visims, example, this reference guide is designed by our FAX facial action coding system expert, and you can use it while developing your avatars. Now let's take a look at what's the underlying technology. So our technology takes in audio stream, continuous audio stream, and we use the most recent audio frame and we extract spectral signals out of it. And then we feed them into a neural network, multi-layered neural network, and process, and output 15 
Visim values in floating point units. And by combining the Visim outputs floating point units, you can basically define how your avatar moves. We trained our models with hours and hours of audio data, and that enabled us to support different languages, and it also established why it is so robust. Then we applied fast WaveNet caching mechanism to make it fast, and that enabled us to release it on, even on mobile platforms uh, in real time. For those of you who want to learn more about deeper about how these Visims are computed, what's the deep learning uh, method that we are using, you can actually go into our blog post. We have a lot more details in there. So feel free to check it out. All right. So at this point, let's talk about what we have offered in our packages. So as I mentioned several weeks ago in August, early August, we released 1.28 version of our LipSync SDK. And it came with new robust model and Unity support, up improved Unity support. Today, we are giving you 1.30 version of LipSync SDK. You're going to get USB sticks pretty soon and you'll get to use on your systems. And in this version, we are, we are offering Unreal Engine support and native C++ support. And also, it comes with DSP acceleration on Hexagon DSP where available. And we are giving you a beta feature, laughter detection. <laughs> now our avatars are becoming more and more expressive with it. And in 2019, the only things that I'll talk about is basically we are going to offer iOS support and laughter detection becomes a full feature and more. OK, let's take a look at these features in more detail, what's in Unreal integration and native C++. In Unreal, we support it on Windows, Mac OS, and Android platforms. You could do live and offline generation of lip sync animations. And you could even do canned animation replay for sound objects. And you can configure your lip sync features from Blueprint. Native C++ is also offered on the same platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Android. And it also supports the same features as Unreal and Unity. With um, 1.30 rele release, we are also giving you DSP acceleration. Where applicable, basically, you can offload computation of the deep learning models to DSP on the supported platforms, and it will run on Hexagon DSP of Qualcomm's instead of the CPU. That will give you more cycles on your CPU, so you can, you can have more cycles for your application or your games. And to be able to use this feature, uh, click on Enable DSP Acceleration checkbox in your interface. And finally, with 1.30, we are pr also providing you laughter detection beta feature. While working with our human experts, we were thinking about what can we offer to make it more enjoyable and we, we can increase sharing and make it a fun experience. And then we heard that we want laughter detection. So we started working on it. Today we are releasing laughter detection as a pre or beta release because it's still in development. And you can start using it and give feedback to us. And what it does is basically it takes an audio frame similarly, it passes through a deep learning network, and it outputs a probabilistic value between 0 and 1, telling how likely in this audio frame there was laughter. And it can trigger for different types of laughter, including giggles, chuckles, and haha -ha laughter. We had to categorize laughter types to be able to understand um, our problem at hand. And in fact, it was quite fun for us to test this feature. So at the end of my talk, me and my team will walk around and get you started on the Unity integration. And we have chosen Unity, by the way, because it's the most mature integration. And very soon, you'll get access to all the packages online on the website, on the download site. Um, the package installation is quite easy. Basically, you download and unzip, and then after that, you create a project, which takes some time. And after you create a project, you uh, import Unity package to your project that we provide. 
and then drop in two prefabs, which are lip sync interface and lip sync morph target lips. And then press play, voila. Then you'll get the animation. Of course, in the end, you might connect the outputs of each Visim to a different uh, mesh render of your choice. All right. So our partner team, Oculus Avatars, have already integrated this uh, lip syncing technology. And the results have been stunning. If you have seen the keynote, you have seen the video. I'll share it here again. Um, and then if you haven't seen the session, Oculus Avatar session, I suggest that you go to the website in a few days to see pre-recorded videos of the session. Hi, okay, everyone. This is Will from the Oculus Avatars and, team. Yeah. And I'm delighted to present our newest expressive avatar system. We've updated the avatars with realistic eye behavior and appearance, rich lip sync, and a facial performance system that manages blinking and micro expressions. This makes the avatar feel really dynamic, more believable, and meaningfully improves social presence. Cool. All right, how to reach us? Um, to be able to, if you find a bug or if you have questions, you can post your questions on the forum's webpage. You can go to forums.oculusvr.com and then find Avatars SDK and social presence discussion. And then in there, you can look at relevant lip sync uh, release uh, threads. And feel free to reach out to us there. So summarizing what we have discussed so far, we have provided you a newer version of lip sync SDK starting, with, starting in August, which is robust to noise, it's multi-platform, and it's large language agnostic to a large degree, and it comes with laughter detection as of today. And at this point, I would like to in invite one of my team members, Sam Johnson, to talk about how to integrate lip sync to your Unity applications. Hey, nice to see you all. Um, so I think we just wanted to show a quick demo of how quick and easy it is to plug lip sync into Unity. Um, so we've worked really hard to make the package that we give to you guys uh, as easy to integrate as possible. So I think there will be USB sticks available with this latest 1.30 release. Uh, if you don't get a USB stick, it will be out, I think, next week uh, is the, the scheduled release. And inside that package, you will see that we have uh, three different uh, plugins. We have our native plugins, our Unity plugin, and our Unreal plugin. Inside the Unity plugin, you'll find all the very exciting license documentation, uh, and then the actual package itself. And then it's super easy to get this going. So you drag it into your pre-made Unity project. Uh, you give Unity a bit of chance to come to life and, and import all the packages. Inside, we've got a couple of demo audio clips. We've got a couple of demonstration models that we'll show. Uh, we have a test scene that shows everything that you can do with lip sync, so can playback, uh, offline production of lip movement, and the live playback. Um, and then we've got a bunch of prefabs to make it really easy to get started. So I'm going to show here just a couple of the prefabs that Elif discussed previously. Again, we'll just wait for Unity to get going here. There we go. So this is the folder structure we give you. And then getting started is as easy as dragging in the lip sync interface, which wraps all the DLL. And then you can either pick this morph target lip, so we have a texture flip robot. I'm going to drag the lips in here, place them so you can see them, and then press play, cross my fingers for the live demo gremlins. And then you can see live we've got the lips moving there. So that was like super easy to drag that in. Um, once you do have this in, you can now go in, like pull apart the prefab, connect this up to your own objects or do whatever you want. And then, like we said, if you change this uh, provider here, we have this beta feature of laughter. So you can enable that. Uh, and then we can wait for the, the Unity engine to kick in again. And then <laughs> if, I, if I try my best to do a good laugh, it's actually pretty good at detecting fake laughs. So I sit at my desk all the time and try and laugh into my computer. It's great. Uh, but you can see it does a pretty good job. So again, we have just like one value output for laughter, but if you have an animation that you want to hook that up to, you hook it in and your models will be laughing away. Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. Um, 